Hey guys, welcome back. Becky Tim's live for the drive at five. And listen, I am sitting here with Misa Salas. And guys, you're not gonna believe this. You have heard me tell this story so many times on this Facebook Live. So remember I used to go see Danny Johnson and I would go to her conference and I would it was all about personal development and um, OCs for me, like opportunities for improvement. And I've told the story of how um, you go to Danny's first one, it's called First Steps to Success, and then if you want more training, it's actually called um, Dynasty, Creating a Dynasty. So I went to Creating a Dynasty, and they put you in groups with complete strangers. So in my group, there were like two guys and two girls. And what we were supposed to do, now we didn't know, these were complete strangers. And what we were supposed to do, we had to write down three things that we liked about this guy, three things we liked about that guy, three things about this girl, and three things about this girl. And then what would happen is these two would start talking about those two after they wrote down three things they liked and then three things they didn't like. So basically what you were doing is you were using your your prejudices and putting them on other people because we didn't know them, they didn't know us, they didn't know anything about us, right? And then we formed this big gossip ring. So like, this me and this person would be talking about that one and that one, and we just formed this huge gossip ring. Mm -hmm. So what happened, what happened is, so um, there was this girl, and after you gossiped about all of them, like formed this big gossip ring, you had to um, ask them to forgive you. And no matter what they did, you could not consult them because you weren't there to consult them, right? It was all about a personal growth journey. And so the guy was like, um, I said, well, do you want to know what I wrote about you? And they were like, no, I don't want to know. And the other guy was like, well, do you want to know what I wrote about you? And they were like, no, I don't want to know. But then the girl, I, I said, well, do you want to know what I wrote about you? And they were like, yes, I'd like to know what you wrote. Well, the things that I wrote about this girl were like, who does she think she is? She looks like a hoochie. She's dressed like a hoochie and has a cross around her neck. Or she's drawing, um, like when we were taking notes, this girl was like drawing all these things because she was like a, uh, a right brain person, right? Like creative and arts. And I'm a left brain person because I was doing um, like science and math and writing a bunch of notes. So completely opposite of me, right? So the girl was like, yeah, I want to know. And so I had to look her straight in the face and I said, I wrote that I thought you looked like a hoochie and you had a cross around your neck and you threw out these things. And when I go home, I'm going to have to actually find the actual paper that I wrote it on because I have it from creating a dynasty like four years ago. Now, let me know in the comments what you would write or what you would say to me if I said that to you. So, I want to introduce you to Nisa. Nisa is actually the girl that was in my group four years ago. She's in, or she lives in Dallas, so I'm here in Dallas, and so she and I, um, one, I asked for her forgiveness, like, sincerely. Two, I'm doing a Facebook Live, sitting here with her, and we just went to um, dinner. She has the biggest part of, like, anyone I've ever met in my entire life. She's married to a veteran, and she has a huge, huge, huge um, heart for veterans. She actually has a nonprofit agency. And if you live in the Dallas area and you need to buy a car, you need to go yeah. see her. <laughs> so go see her because she's like the best salesperson ever, right? So Nisa. And so here's the, here's the deal. So when I told her about it, I'll let her share your side of the story. So Nisa, you can tell me your, the, the rest of the story. Yeah. So my name is Lisa, as Becky uh, introduced me, we met at the conference. <clears throat> we were actually in Baltimore, Maryland, and tonight we're actually in my hometown, Dallas. Yeah, she took me where um, JFK got shot, and there's like an X, X marks the spot, and it was pretty cool. So um, the conference we went to was so uh, mind-blowing because, again, you're in groups of people that you don't know, they're from the other side of the country, and you're like writing down things about that person because that's part of the activity. Well, I don't like their hair or I don't like what they're wearing. You don't know the person, but the activity is write three things you don't like. And so uh, I do briefly remember that. I don't remember the exact moment. All I know is you walked away and I walked away and we like totally rearranged what we thought about people. 
And um, when we had that healing moment of, will you forgive me for saying, I didn't, you know, you look like this and this is what you're wearing. I was like, wow. I was like, oh my gosh. I too walked away with less of a judgmental spirit. Um, I look at somebody and that's the way that God has made them. I don't have the right to look at their hair, their clothes, what they're saying, their tattoos. You know, I can't say, oh, well, you look like a such and such. In my mind, that's kind of high schoolish. It's like, wow, are you uh, the, the jock? Are you the cheerleader? cheerleader? Are you the cutesy one? Are you the class clown? None of that matters in real life, but we do that. We put ourselves in a third grade scenario. And we end up not being friends for what? We end up having more violence in the world or we end up having he says, she says, or they say, or this, that, and that. So here we are together enjoying dinner and she's bringing up this, I'm like, I remember. And it was just so healing for me. So thank you so much for watching. We don't have any major tips except for be real. Be yeah, right. go to dannyjohnson.com. Go to dannyjohnson.com. Life changing. Yeah. yeah. And um, you can actually forge a friendship even on the other end. I have a, a woman that I bumped heads with uh, a few years ago. Um, I was really rude to her. I didn't even remember. And uh, she and I are really good friends now, and uh, we're transforming each other's lives. And it's just like, as adults, you can actually forgive one another just as if you were kids, and you can move on, and you can change as a person. So don't be scared to uh, make things right with people, whether they're your strangers, your neighbors, your friends, your family, your coworkers say, you know what, <clears throat> I bury the, the axe, I bury the hatchet, and I just want to say I'm sorry, and I want to move on. So thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Thanks, Nisa, <laughs> and I am <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, going to be a good time. Yeah, thank you. Alright, guys, have an amazing night. Bye. Thanks for watching.